Good morning from the Thoughtful Gardener. I wanted to show you the trellis system that I'm using from Garden Trellis and Fence. I can say I will never grow vegetables any other way but this trellis system. In fact, the tomatoes are getting so tall it's time for the second layer of fencing up top. But what I can say uh, definitively is we had yet another downdraft windstorm this week. We've had a lot of rain here in central Pennsylvania, but we get these really high winds. And my other tomato, traditional tomato cage, fell on one of the tomatoes that I had started from seed. Fortunately, it didn't break, but I can assure you this is the third or fourth windstorm this season and this system hasn't moved. So. There will be no other way I ever grow tomatoes. It will always be this way and cucumbers too. Anything that is going to climb on you, including these melons here that my hungry, hungry hippo of a groundhog continues to chew, I am left with no choice but to try to um, fence it. And the way I'm going to fence it is with this very fine bird netting. Now the bees will still be able to get into the system but this is to keep him out. He um, ate several cucumbers last week. He continues to chew my peppers. Um, I've lost both a squash and a zucchini plant because he has chewed them to death. And uh, he's chewing this apple melon that a friend of mine gave me. So I want to try to prevent him from doing this. And the only way to do it is to use this fine bird netting. Now you can see the fine bird netting that I'm using over there on my peach tree. My peach tree is loaded with white peaches and I'm trying to keep him and the birds from eating them so that we can enjoy them. So sometimes you have to uh, help out and keep mother nature out. And this is the way I'm going to do it. It'll allow me to get in and harvest very easily. Uh, it's attractive and uh, it is wide enough gauge that bees will still be able to get in and pollinate the plants. So if you're struggling with critters in your garden, I highly recommend uh, this fine gauge bird netting for your fruit and your vegetable uh, plants. I will put in the comments where I bought it so that you too can give it a shot, but highly recommend if you're frustrated to use this technique because unfortunately fencing groundhogs can dig underneath it unless you're willing to concrete and put gauge wire down in the ground they're going to get into it so it's really important that you try to net if at all possible and uh, for the most part once it gets beyond the ground my groundhog tends to leave it alone so you can see a bunch of um, starts here of my favorite sunflower, Mexican sunflower. And again, it's under row cover because he won't mess with it that way. Once they get tall enough, he'll leave them alone. So hope you guys are having a good day. What pest problems are you dealing with in your garden? I'd love to know in the comments so I can help you try to resolve them. Garden thoughtfully. Take care.